Good Saturday evening and thanks for watching the Eyewitness News at 10. I'm Mike McDaniel. Family and friends said goodbye this evening to three children killed in a house fire on the West Bank. We're told a 15 year old, an eight year old and a two year old were home alone when the fire started. This all happened yesterday morning in Terrytown, and we do expect an update on the case from the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office and State Fire Marshal Monday. Meanwhile, our Sam Winstrom is joining us live now in Harvey, where that service was held. Good evening to you, Sam. So good evening, Mike. What we've seen on the West Bank today has been nothing short of incredible. Hundreds of people came here to the Majid Omar Mosque to pray before burying three children who died in that house fire Friday. Now, Yusra Ayad, Ali Ramzi, and Muhammad Ramzi were all laid to rest this afternoon. The three siblings were found dead after a fire broke out inside their home. That fire is under investigation, but authorities do not believe any kind of crime was committed. Now, tonight, the Palestinian community here on the West Bank gathered to not only mourn their loss, but to show their support for the family. You know, all we can do is just pray for their you know, patience and, and their strength to get through this. And um, with, the help, with the help of the family members and, and community, um, you know, we'll be there for them as much as we can. And uh, there's nothing, you know, there's no the right words to say to someone when, when a tragedy like this happens. And all you can do is just is be there. Now, right now, family, friends, and neighbors are gathered as the mosque behind us for a tradition that is called Azah where people come together not only to show their condolences, but to support the family in what is undoubtedly an incredibly tough time. It's just impossible to imagine what they're going through. But right now, it is very clear that they have the whole community with them. But for now, reporting live from the West Bank, Sam Winstrom, Eyewitness News.